Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back in to some more Anno 1800. Yet again, you're going to have to bear with me. I still have a head cold. I am recording a bunch of episodes kind of back to back and I am sick. So I sound a little nasally, sound a little funky. Uh, can't think straight because I'm so pumped full of drugs that I feel weirdly awesome. All right, so I have achieved our, we've got 6,000 investors actually right now, just shy of 6,000 investors. Uh, they are all right here. I, I am using the, I, I, what was this? What was this pack? I already forgot the cosmetic pack. One of the cosmetic, Vibrant Cities. It says right there in front of my face. I am using Vibrant Cities to change the look of the buildings just because, you know, it, it's fun to change the look of the buildings and make them look a little different. So, yeah, I got tired of looking at the green roofs. So we've changed up the colors of everything for right now. Uh, anyways... So we do have our 6,000 investors now. So I have everything unlocked that I want unlocked for the time being uh, until I'm ready to get uh, uh, some skyscrapers going. Uh, what else have I done? Of course, I have expanded the city, as you can see. I've gone up this way with it. Uh, started reworking some of the canal stuff. You know, just minor little odd and end things. I've been playing around with some industries all kind of crammed right here. I've got to deal with that. Uh, but we are having the issue with our oil that I talked about earlier in the uh, episode where I was saying that oil was going to be a problem. What's happening is on a... Ca oh, actually, are they doing it now? Yeah, all three trains are going up here to the oil refinery all three of them are there's one there's two and yeah they they're okay he's still sitting there but i bet you he'll go up there here in a second they are all heading up to the oil refinery and they can't get back so they all sit there now before you say oh you need double lines going to it that won't matter because it's this single point of entry into the refiner into the oil harbor that causes the blockage even if i had double tracks and or triple tracks going to it they would all be blocked because there's only one entryway into the oil harbor and they're going to get stopped right there so see yeah all three of them are going up here they all sit here and they all have to wait for them to all get there and then they all work their way back down that is one of the issues with only having a single point of entry into the oil harbor is it doesn't matter if you have lots of entrances and exits and i had triple i could have 10 tracks right here they're going to get blocked because of a single entry point in, back into it uh, and they all don't need to be going up there this is where the ai is broken for the trains there is absolutely no need for all three trains to go up to this oil refinery. And when that happens, then everything starts running out of oil and everything falls apart. So I'm already running into the bug with the oil refineries and all that kind of mess here on Crown Falls. So instead of messing around with it and just trying to get it to work, instead, I'm just going to go to another island and we're going to just grab some oil from another island. I think I'm going to come over here to this one. So let's see. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Come here, you. We're just going to go grab another island. And I'm just going to transport the oil. We're going to completely get rid of this up here for right now. We're just going to get rid of it. I'm not even going to mess with it anymore. Yeah, see, now all three of them are working their way back down. It's 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 been broken for years now, and they've not found a way to fix it uh, because the only real way to fix the problem, I think, is to completely redesign this building and have multiple, multiple uh, uh, entry points into it, which they can't do, obviously. So it's just going to be broken. Let's see. Is that all I need? Oh, do, I do need bricks, so we'll use we'll use the uh, flagship and get some bricks. So we're going to come over here to this island. Uh, where are you at? There you are. I'll get bricks and a bunch of steel from him. Come on now. Alright, that might be enough. We'll find out here in a second. That may be enough. Probably not. Probably have to have a little bit more. Uh, so we're going to go get that fixed. 
Uh, sewing machines. So, sewing machines are capping out, so we're not producing our advanced weapons and steam motors. I have fixed that by telling this route right here that whenever it's done off offloading, whatever it can offload at Manola, go ahead and it's just going to make a quick stop at Wormways Prison over here at Eli and sell off in the excess uh, and then go pick up all that it can from up here. And that should fix that problem right there. I do want to change this right here to maybe a hundred in stock, just to keep a few extra, few extra in stock right there. So that's going to take care of that problem. And the only other thing we have done is I have set up the newspaper now that I have excess influence. This is my preferred newspaper setup in a typical game. 50% uh, reduction with consumerism articles right here. Uh, so 20 and 30, and then a happiness article for plus 15. The happiness article is to offset the minus 10 happiness from using propaganda, is why I use that one. Later on, once I have um, stuff from tourists and uh, things from the shopping arcades that add happiness to, to my island, then I can get rid of that plus 10, that plus 15, and I can just do the other 10% consumerism reduction. This is giving me a 57% reduction uh, because I do have the Politico. It, it does get me up to the 15% effectiveness increase. So that gives me a total of 57% needs consumption reduction, which is absolutely fantastic. We are barely consuming anything anymore. So very, very happy with that. And I heard something exploded. Oh, he exploded. That's okay. I've got, I, I think I've got some nearby. Yeah, there's some right there. Yeah, they're all good. So yeah, 57% needs consumption reduction is going to be really handy for a while. Uh, eventually we'll expand that with uh, shopping arcades and uh, like bars and cafes and restaurants and further reduce consumptions on everything. So that's going to be super, super helpful. I did run a few World's Fairs and I grabbed myself a Mr. Garrick. I also got a Joseph Beaumont for this kind of central area of our town. That's giving me pocket watches and jewelry. And he is providing cigars since they have access to a members club. So they have everything fulfilled except chocolate, uh, chocolate, uh, champagne and steam carriages. I have two other town halls placed. Again, my kind of standards for right now with an actor and a Mr. Garrick. And same thing up here, a Mr. Garrick and an actor to supply some of those needs for us. Okay, he is here. So let's go ahead and get that built. Where is, where's the oil? Okay, oil is right there. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I can cover five of them, it looks like. Yep, I can cover five of those. Good deal. We'll throw in an oil harbor there. Whoops. I'll, I'll go fix that here in just a few, I promise. All right, let's get you back. All right, yeah, we do need, let's see, what I have to have for this. All right, I need 65 brick, 52 steel. I've got the windows, I've got the concrete, so we just need a little more brick and a little more timber. Not too bad. Didn't even need all of that steel right there, but it is what it is. So we'll come back over here, grab that right there, get that built. Oh, wait, I forgot about this guy, too. Yeah. Still going to have enough of that. That'd be fine. Yeah, so just a little more steel, a little more brick, a little more timber. We'll get that built, and then we'll start just transporting oil over and just not deal with this hole anymore, because this is silly. All right, so now that that's all kind of, you know, I know where we're going with that. Let's go ahead and start getting some of their needs fulfilled right here. Uh, we do need champagne. Oh, that's right. You got destroyed. 
Uh, we do need champagne up and running. Now, I'm not going to do champagne on this island. I don't want to keep filling in this island with more farms because I am going to move all of that off here pretty soon. So instead, I think I want to go to an island. And I, do I even? Okay, yeah, over here, this island we just settled does have uh, grapes on it. Good. So let's come over here. I'm thinking what I want to do. Do I want the champagne sellers over here too? I think I do. I think I just want to go ahead and put the entire, uh, run the entire gamut of the production chain on this particular island. So I'm going to need several things for that. Let's triple speed this so we can hurry up and get back. I want to make a couple more clippers. Oh, ceasefire is over. Let's re-sign that with him. Cool. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, give me a couple more clippers for right now. Eventually I will swap over to cargo ships, but not at the second. Come on, guys. We got things to do. I need building materials. I'm going to put down a commuter pier over there. Get all of that up and running. Attention to the Admiral. Okay, here we go. All right, I need a little more of that, a little more of that, a little more of that. This is for the commuter pier. Commuter pier and extra for everything else. And then I need um, some more brick. Might need a little more brick. All right, let's go over here and start laying this out. I'm going to blueprint all of this. I think, I think I just need one thing of champagne right now. Yeah, I think one thing of champagne will work for the time being. I am going to put a fuel station over here uh, just because you do need four of these things, four wineries or vineyards. Rather, you need four vineyards for it. Let's see if we can make this look kind of cool. I always seem to struggle trying to make this thing look neat. Take that back. Let's not put that there. Let's put it next to this. Ship constructed. Like that. And then maybe we'll put him over here. Yeah, I will. I, I'll, I'll take. I'll do farms and stuff later. But right now, I just want to get the vineyards in. I'm so used to the vineyards having to be huge because of having the um, uh, tractor silos on them. All right, he just sailed off all of those, so that's going to be good. There's another clipper. We'll use that clipper to bring over the champagne. Uh, where's my ships at? Still working their way over. Okay, that's fine. All right, I will need a glass maker.
I will need a sand mine, which I could just go ahead and get right there. This thing was kind of arbitrarily placed, and I think I want to arbitrarily move it now. So right there, that might help. And then under engineers, I definitely want to get that commuter pier up and running. Like so. Okay, I can go ahead and upgrade you, so you are good to go. All right, triple speed it so we can get our ships over here and unload everything we need. And see if I've got to have anything else. Because I, honest to God, don't remember. All right, let's see if I have enough stuff here. I want to upgrade you and all modules. I want to... Okay, no, I'm already out of bricks again. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, now we're good. But I'm also out of steel now, so I do need steel. I have you nearby, though. Let's see what I need to make this happen. Just a little bit of steel, actually, is all. Alright, so there's all four of those. Yeah, I just need some wood and steel. Good. Okay. Just go ahead and bring over that much wood. I know, you're upset. It'll be okay. Alright, so that's going to take care of the champagne for right now. And make a nice little a nice little thing. We'll put a little we'll have a little farming village over here somewhere, make it look really nice. Oh well you have legitimately already exploded because you just really hate me don't you like like for real though you didn't even do anything and you already exploded oh my god i hate this game i hate this game so much oh my okay it's okay it'll be okay we will get this we will make this happen there we go now we are pumping out the sewing machines again and producing those pocket watches, gramophones, advanced weapons, and steam motors to our heart's content. Speaking of which, probably... Actually, no, you know what? How are you producing all those? We're making enough for right now. I would feel comfortable increasing the amount that we keep in storage on those. So let's... Uh, Let's go right here. Let's set a minimum stock of 75 on those. Just to keep a few in stock. There you are. Good deal. Okay. Now, apparently, since this thing is wanting to be a complete and total turd. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, come on, you. Work with me here. Alright, we will just put by a, a fire station just to try to help that. Okay, let's just double check to make sure we're good. We are good. We are good. We are good. And, uh, yep, we're good. We're making enough for the time being. Again, I, I will probably electrify this later, maybe with like a Meg Iver or something. That might be what we do to electrify it at a later point, but right now it's okay. And I don't need to upgrade the warehouse. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is add in some depots. Apparently just one depot is all I can add. That'll work. All right, I'm going to let that build up to maybe uh, 50 champagne before I start up my trade route. That way, you know, I don't have to worry about running out before he gets back over to pick up more because that's not very much right now. 
but should be good. It won't take long to build that up. So, the, okay, that takes care of the champagne situation. Oh, you are really having a hard day, aren't you? There we go. Good, good boy. Good boy. All right, let's slow back down and let's hop over here. And now, steam carriages. The original complicated production chain, which isn't so complicated anymore when you look at everything else we have in the game. Um, all right, so steam carriages, cab assembly lines, all these fun things right here that we have to have. Coaches, all of that. Uh, you know, however, what is the what is her name? Uh, cab assembly line. Where is she at? Yeah, right here. Um, I want her. Shh. So Susanna is one of those items that I typically will not make a production chain until I have her, uh, until I have it. So instead of steam motors, it just needs filaments. That takes out such a massive chunk of this. It takes out all of this right here. And all you have to have are filaments, which just needs coal. So what I want to do is... Um, I'm going to have to find her. You can get her at Eli. You can get her at Eli. So I, I want to find her. So I think what we're going to do is um, put a quick cut in the video while I do while I spend some time hunting for Susanna so I can get our steam carriages or uh, yeah, steam carriages online and get those fulfilled. And that will have all of their basic needs fulfilled. The only thing they're not going to have fulfilled are penny farthings because I don't care about supplying penny farthings, to be honest with you. All right, so I'll be back in just a second. And I just hit my keyboard really hard. You probably heard that. I'm so sorry. Okay, after... Uh, it's been about 30 minutes or so. And trust me, I've gone through a crap ton of money. I had about 12 million when I started. Uh, I've probably uh, bulk sold off a bunch of uh, advanced weapons and steam motors. And they're all back up again. I probably sold about 10 million gold worth of stuff, but I finally got it. It took me forever, but I finally got Susanna the Steam Engineer. I also got a few other little goodies while I was up there. Uh, I got myself a Brasseri Patron Mertens, who's going to be useful on some of our other islands. A metal winning producer, which is going to go over to, um, what is this, Disney? This is Disney. It's going to go over here so I can uh, boost up these vineyards over here. That's going to be pretty useful. What else did I find? Uh, Johan, again, going to be useful for those gramophones so I don't have to have wood veneers. Yeah, I think that was about it. Yeah, that was about it. But yeah, got Susanna the Steam Engineer finally. Finally found her. She also produces light bulbs, which is very useful. Uh, okay, so, oh, by the way, I'm sure some people were yelling at me uh, because I was totes not paying attention. Uh, that, you know, it's six. I needed six oil wells. Three for each. Uh, three for each one. So even the five up here wouldn't have worked. And, you know, leave me alone. I'm sick. So I threw down another oil refinery. Eventually, I do want to actually use some items to boost our oil production. So I don't have to have this secondary oil refinery. And once I have the research institute, I'll move this well in closer to that refinery right there. But for right now, this right here works. I've got, pl I I'm not really worried about money and population anymore at this point. I am long past the point of worrying about those two things. So we are good. All right, so let's grab ourselves the, not gramophones. Uh, yeah, here we go. We do need the cab assembly line going. So I will need Kachuk. I'll need some Kachuk. I'm going to need two caoutchouc plantations for every one cab assembly line. Um, and I also need two coach makers. No. Yeah. Two coach makers. Yeah. Two coach makers for every one cab assembly line. These things, I do hate making coaches. It's, it's, all, it's actually just terrible. Uh, you can buy them from from Nate over here. You can buy some coaches. You can also buy Kalchuk and you can buy quite a bit of stuff from him. Actually, that would that would help. Uh, just kind of help boost everything up. 
Uh, so, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get some of that going. Let's pop down to the new world over here. We've got our hacienda right there. Oh, we need to select the policy. Uh, typically, I would like to do this right here to reduce food consumption. So we'll go ahead and get that. And let's grab some more farms. I'm going to put these out somewhere. Stand aside, boss. Oh my god, he's so annoying. Shut up, dude. I ain't got time for you. Alright, so, some caoutchouc plantations. These guys are super happy, so I feel okay and justified boosting their production by 50%. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back over here now. Okay. I do need to find somewhere. You're sick again, aren't you? Okay. Well, let's uh, get ourselves in another hospital right there, maybe. Uh, be a little closer over here somewhere for right now okay cab assembly lines I really need to start thinking about moving some stuff off of this island right here um, and free myself up a little a little room because it's starting to get a little tight around here that's something I might work on in the next episode is uh, shifting stuff around okay he could actually just go over here. I don't need I don't need that electrified. Oh, I'm on slow. I, I don't need the weapons electrified. Don't really need that. Uh he could go up here for right now. You can go over here for right now. That's still within range and still electrified, so it's good to go. We'll take out that road. We'll take that out. Put you over here for right now. And that lets me get the uh, cab assembly line right there on the shoreline. So that's nice. Hmm. All right, we are shy some engineers. So I do need to upgrade some of... Oh, God, which one was the... <laughs> that's the worker. See, I, I'm already confused as to what the... work. Okay, hold on. All right. Where are they? There they are. All right, there we go. Okay, there's the engineers. I couldn't find them. I was like, wait, which one was it? I don't know. Uh, okay, so we need a chassis plant. I think I want to put the chassis plant over here next to this guy. Just because it, you know, it is kind of the same thing. <laughs> Sorry for my sniffling. Trying not to sniffle, I promise, guys. I'm really trying not to sniffle, but it is exceedingly difficult. Okay, wait. Yeah, that ain't gonna work because he's not gonna be electrified right there. Um, ooh, I can electrify him, though, if I do this, though, I bet. Now he's electrified. Haha, -ha. awesome. Okay, so I'm curious about something. So it gets me about half. Now, if I set myself... Oh, we got to go sign that ceasefire again. There we go. Okay, he's happy again. All right, so let's set up a trade route now between him and me. We're going to go buy that. We're going to buy those. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. Okay. So we're going to buy those things from him. That will, the uh, the chassis that I buy from him should help, should offset, so I don't have to have a second one of those. Uh, let's check between here and Manola, make sure I'm making enough 
yeah, I'm making far in excess of caltrick that I need right now, so that's good. I will need some more timber though, so let's go ahead and grab down, a, not timber, but a lumberjack's hut, whatever this thing's called. You know what I'm talking about. Grab another one of those. Yeah, we're good on that now. Cool. And now we just need, um, oh, right. <laughs> need, the, need the thing. I need, I need her. Uh, okay, I guess you're going to have to move over here. You're still electrified, so it doesn't really matter. Let's put a trade union in. All right, and there is Susanna. Awesome. I really don't like the way this is looking. That looks, that looks like, that looks like butt. do that the school is temporary so we'll put the school back right there for right now there it goes okay did any of these explode why are we not getting enough oil okay there comes some oil i guess it just hasn't picked itself up yet because it's three oil wells per plant so it's just taking a little more time than I really would rather it take. That's all right. That's all right. All right. So that's fixed. That's fixed. Um, slow down now. Let's grab you. Uh, well, I say let's slow down. Let's uh, let's do this. We'll grab him. I do have another port dealer, I think. No, I don't have another port dealer. Uh, ah, crap. All right, well, that's fine. New World, Manola. We'll just use this uh, clipper for the time being. All right, this cow truck. So there's our cow truck route. That's going to bring that over. And the only thing we need now are filaments. So the filaments, we do need another one of these guys. Uh, temporarily place him right there. It looks like I could squeeze in a... Copper, uh, yeah, copper, uh, a coal mine right there to help with that situation. Okay. That should be, yeah, we are, that is super good on the steam carriages now. Once all that starts coming in, we should be good to go on that. Ooh, wait, uh, filaments? Yeah, we're good on filaments too. And again, chassis, not really worried about. All right. Well, with that out of the way, that takes care of basically everything for the investors now. Uh, we, oh, I was like, how am I making that? Duh, I'm buying Kalchuk. I, I literally already forgot that I was buying Kalchuk from, from him. Or was I? I'm, no, I'm not buying Kalchuk from him. How the hell? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I, I don't know how I'm how I was making some. I've got twelve in stock. So, oh, mm. I'll I'll get it together in a minute, guys, or probably not. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, wait, we got steam carriages now. We've got champagne. They are all taken care of. All we're missing now to upgrade them to skyscrapers are elevators. So that will be ready to go as well good deal got a quest though a photography quest of the concrete shop yeah sure why not i'll do that real quick whoa whoa what was that that was odd okay it did not like that weird whatever that was very strange Never seen that happen before. An optician? Meh. Junk. Junk items. 
All right, all the goods are fulfilled now. Everybody's good to go. Lifestyle needs... Oh, I did give them um, fur. I did put some fur down over here for them. I don't think I showed you guys that. I threw down two hunting cabins over there just to give the uh, just to give them at least some of their lifestyle needs. Or, well, one of them at the moment. Probably won't ever do bear fur. Uh, it's just too much of a pain in the butt to supply. Likely will do tapestries uh, as well as some of these other things that are from the artistas for the delights and stuff like that. So I probably will supply those later on. Uh, but I think now it is time, now that we have everything up and running and we have a good balance, 42,000 balance now. So we're really health healthy on all that. Uh, I do believe I will be expanding on out to the Arctic. I need to get our gas online and get the gas power plants going in preparation for the mass city expansion. Uh, I don't really want to... Yeah, we're running out of oil constantly. Oh, there he is with 330. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help him stop from running out all the time. Because that's super annoying to run out of oil. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I do need to get to the Arctic and get all of that done uh, and get it set up and running so I can have our gas power plants online and happy. Um, I probably... Hmm, I'm not going to show the Arctic uh, in this particular series right here. Mostly because I do the Arctic the exact same way every single time. I have a very specific layout for the Arctic. I have a very specific setup for the Arctic that I do that makes it super, super easy and very simple to get off the ground uh, without any issues. What I'm going to do is if you are interested in seeing how I do the Arctic and how I recommend you should do the Arctic every single time to make it the easiest region in the world to manage, check out the video that is linked down in the description and pinned in the comments section below about my Arctic guide. Okay. It's the, I do the same thing in the Arctic every single time I play up there. It's no different. Um, I don't do the Arctic any differently, and my Arctic always succeeds every single time, and it's very, very simple. So that's what I recommend. Go look at my Arctic guide, uh, and that's what I'm probably going to do in between this episode and the next, is I'm going to get the Arctic set up and running. We'll come back, take a brief look at it, and then continue on from there. So with that, guys, I appreciate you coming in and watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Big thanks to all of the recent views, all the new subscribers, all the new channel members, and so on. Appreciate all of your awesome, awesome support. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, take care.